Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a view for our our category detail. I'm sorry, and also a template and set up the URLs and the links that we need. So this could be a little lengthy. I'll try to go through it as fast as possible. So let's go ahead inside our blog and open up the views.py file. Inside the views.py file, let's go ahead and get rid of those um, class-based views. Like I said in the previous tutorial, we will not be covering class-based views throughout this tutorial series because I'm going to show you a lot of cool things about how to extend your views and everything else and doing a lot of cool stuff. And sometimes class-based views do get in the way of that. So we're just going to focus on the function-based views. All right, so we're going to create a view down here, and we're going to call it a category detail. So we're going to define the view and call it category underscore detail. All right, and this is going to take uh, request as a parameter, so request. And it's going to take one other parameter, and that's slug. And we're getting slug from the category uh, table, if you look into your models and go up we do have slug in there all right so that's where we're going to get that from go ahead and put your colon there all right so the next thing we need to do is uh we're going to create a template so we'll say template is equal to and it's going to be blog forward slash um category underscore detail dot html all right and then we're going to have to go and get the uh category that uh, was requested by the user. So what we're going to have basically is uh, we're going to have a link in our post list and our post detail where the category is. So when the user clicks on it, for example, if we have a category called Python, they click on that, they're going to be taken to a page that displays the Python category and all the posts that are related to it. So that's our goal right here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is get the category. So category is equal to get object 404. Then we're going to get the category table. All right. And then we're going to get uh, slug is equal to slug. So we're going to go into the category table and get the slug that is equal to the slug. All right. Uh, if you notice, we have a squiggly uh, red line right here on um, PyCharm. Yours may be different if you're using a different text editor. We need to import category. So we'll go up here and import it. All right, come back down. And it's all fixed up. All right, so we're getting the category. That's great. But we need to also get the posts that are related to that. So how do we do that? So we're going to create a uh, variable called post. We're going to set that equal to a query. And it's going to be post.objects. Dot filter and we're gonna say category is equal to oops, equal to category all right so we're getting the category inside the post object so it's going to go through all the posts in the table in the post table and get the uh, matching posts that have the same categories up here all right so that's how we're doing it now I'm gonna give you a little warning here this is hitting the database twice and this is one of my pet peeves for now, we're going to leave it this way because this is the simplest way to write it so you guys understand it. In future uh, tutorials when we're going through this, I'm going to show you other ways to um, limit hitting the database more than once. We're going to try to keep it at once every time. But for this one, we're actually hitting it twice. We're going to go and get the category, and we're also going to go get the post. So we're hitting the database twice. That slows down your performance a little bit. And it's one of my pet peeves, but for now, we'll keep it this way. In the next, uh, throughout the next several tutorials that we do, we're going to look at uh, improving the performance and only hitting the database once. Now we need to set up our context variable. So context is equal to a dictionary. In here, we're going to say category in a string, colon category without a string. And then we're going to do uh, post, colon, post without a string. All right, and then down here, we're going to render our view. So we're going to say return render request template and context. All right, simple as that. We've looked at all this before. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. All right, so we created our view. Now let's go into our blog URLs.py file 
And the first thing I want to do here is first off get rid of these two imports for the class based views because they will kick back an error if it cannot find them. So we'll get rid of them. And we're also going to get rid of those two views. So we already commented one out in the previous tutorial. We'll just go ahead and get rid of them. Like that. Delete them out of there. All right. So now we got our blog list function view and our blog detail view. Now let's go ahead and make a uh, category detail view. And I should have probably called these posts, but we're not going to change it now. URL. All right. It's going to be a raw string. And we're going to say the carrot. Let's match it up to this point. All right. Um, then we're going to say category detail like that. And then a forward slash. And then in here, we're going to do our um, slug. So we're going to say question mark P. And then there's a million me. Slug. All right. And then our square brackets hyphen W, uh, another square bracket, the plus symbol, and then close out our parentheses, forward slash, dollar sign. Did I forget anything in there? Yes, I did. The backslash needs to be in there as well. All right. Uh, that all looks good. All right. So then we bring in our view. So our view is called category detail. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put it down here in the in the as a view uh, argument so category uh, detail and then name it so we're going to name it as category detail all right and then put a comment then so we went over this before um, basically since we have multiple categories or we will have multiple categories uh, we use the slug so we can decipher which category we're getting. And this um, argument is passed to the parameter inside our view back here, slug. All right. So it comes down and finds that category slug that mat or that category that matches that slug and it returns it. So, all right. Uh, next thing we want to do is go into the post list and where we got category, we're going to create a hyperlink. So a href equal to a string close out our a tag and then completely close it out here uh there we go all right I'll tab oops tab this back over to where it should be and now we're going to put our curly brace percent symbol and url so we're using a url tag so we use url to indicate that and then uh we're going to uh, put in a single quote it could be double if you wanted to but it's just looks funny when you put it in as double uh, single quote and then we're going to say blog colon uh, category underscore detail all right so let's just discuss this we covered this before we're going to blog urls.py file that's what the blog indicates and then the colon and then inside the blog urls.py file we're looking for a url name that has category detail all right now that we have that um we need to get the slug so we're going to say slug is equal to and we're going to say object all right so we're getting the object that's up here in the for loop the temporary variable the object then we're going to say category all right so now we're going into the category inside the post since we're inside the post we're going object so the post whatever post it is it's object and then the category and then once we're in the category, we're going to go all the way up here into this table and get the slug. All right. So how do we do that? Uh, we're just going to go ahead and add a dot. And then we're going to say slug just like that. And then we need to close out our tag with the percentage, the percentage symbol and the curly brace. All right. And that is it. That's how we create a link to our category slug. All right. We're going to do the same thing in the post detail. Let's go ahead and do that right here. We'll go through it one more time. We're going to create an a tag, href is equal to a string, close out that uh, carrot, and then back out, back here, close out our a tag. And in here, we're going to do a uh, curly brace, percentage symbol, URL, and then a single quote. And we're going to do um, blog, colon, category, detail close out that single quote and I'm going to say slug is equal to 
And then instead of OBJ this time, we're going to use post because we've got a different context variable. So post dot category dot slug and then percentage symbol and then our curly brace to close that out now our link is now set up for our category detail here in our post detail all right um one last thing i want to do is create our template so let's go ahead and create a new file and in this file we're going to call it uh this goes in our, your blog uh, directory inside your templates directory. It's going to be category underscore detail dot HTML, just like that. And then up here, we're going to extends base dot HTML. We have seen this before, so we're extending the base dot HTML. Uh, let's just check something real quick. We do have SEO title and SEO description for our, bl our for our category, so we're gonna go ahead and do um, block SEO underscore title, and then uh, we're gonna end that block. So end block like this, and then we're gonna do uh, block SEO description that and we're gonna end block as well just like that and then down here we're gonna do our block content so block content and and block like that all right so now let's go ahead and put in our data uh, so first off we want SEO title so we're gonna hold on I gotta go back and look at our view just to make sure we call it a category. Our category information is coming from the category variable. So back in category detail, we're going to say oh, two curly uh, braces indicates a context variable, if you will. And we're going to say category dot SEO underscore title. And then down in here, we're going to do the same thing. Two curly braces, category dot SEO description like that and down here in the blog um, let's go ahead and do h1 tags and we're gonna say curly brace SC oops category dot title all right and then um, in p tags we'll do our curly braces category dot description I believe I called it I'll check that real quick um, in our models description yep all right and let's go ahead and just put a horizontal rule here to split it up a little bit and now we're going to go ahead and get our posts so in um the template tags we're going to create a for loop so it's going to say for item in uh post i believe i called it we're going to go ahead and call it n4 because we always got to end our for loops and in here we'll go ahead and just do uh, item dot oops this should be a variable so two curly braces and it's gonna be item dot uh, title and then we'll throw something a little new in here we're gonna do item dot body and then we're gonna use the pipe symbol and we're gonna say truncate chars truncate the characters 250 all right I don't know. just throw a number out there uh, we could also use truncate words um, and set it with the words but we're going to use characters all right so we got m4 we got m block um, i think that is it so let's go ahead and run our server uh, and bring up our browser here um, so i'm in the blog detail and i don't know why that's just popped up like that there we go now let's go ahead and refresh and see if we don't get any errors you see how python is now a link we'll click on that and you see we get brought to uh python this is python tutorials if you notice it says intro to python this is a all right so that's kind of ugly let's go ahead and change that uh we'll say this is an h2 tag all right and this is an close out our h2 and we'll just leave that as is we're not going to use p tags there um, go ahead and hit return 
there we go intro to python this is an intro intro to django this is uh a django uh one thing uh we did not do is since we're displaying these and we don't want to display a draft uh posts that are set to draft let's go ahead and just adjust that real quick in our views uh, in our views real quick, we're going to go in here and say category is equal to category and then we'll say status is equal to published like that. All right. Give the server a second to catch up. And she's being slow today. All right. There we go. And notice intro to Django goes away because that's not set to publish. It's set to draft. Now we got intro to Python. There we go. So if you guys have any questions about this, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, in the next tutorial, I don't know what we're going to cover, but we'll cover something cool. I'm trying to get done this blog application so we can move on to something uh, a little different. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next tutorial.